Welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet again, Linda. Hi, Bob. And we shot a video with you last year. Yes. And uh, you were in a car then. Yes, yes. And so you've made some changes between now and then. You're now actually in an SUV. Exactly. And um, so what's the, what's the deal? Why are you now in a SUV? Okay, well, loved, loved the car. You know, that was Serenity Sedan. She was at 209,000 miles. And at that point, you start to need preventative maintenance. You do. And then, but you still don't know what the uh, outcome is going to be of an engine or a transmission. Right. So I was like, you know what? She's still running like she's brand new. I'm going to give her to my son. My son needed a second car. And I am going to not roll the dice anymore when I'm out in the desert, back roads, traveling or whatever, and uh, have that timing pelt, belt go before before I get it changed. I didn't want to dump any more into preventative. So I had been researching and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to step up now to an SUV. So here we are. And I call her Happy Haven. Happy Haven. <laughs> good. Very, very good. <laughs> and so now you uh, have been in the SUV for a while and you were in a car. So how would you contrast the two, the car to the SUV? Well, um, this is now I'm about two and a half months into the SUV and I've had to, you know, kind of emotionally, mentally let go of that 15 months almost in the Acura and into this and the, the contrast now is I've I've added a room to this to the SUV. I have a I have actually a nook which I call a nest. And I, my only nest back in um, the sedan was the front seat. I never used the, the back seats at all. And then, of course, I had the trunk, and that was where my business was. But uh, now I have made a official little home in the center with two seats taken out, and my business is in the, in, is in the back. So I'm still doing the sections thing. And a lot of, you know, still in my mind is, just like when you're in Six and Bricks, you take that to your next home, and now I've taken the sedan part of my home into the SUV. And uh, more space, I mean, someone the other day said to me, oh, it must be a mansion now. And I was like, no, not really. It's just a different sort of mansion. I mean, there's just, it's a different way of navigating because I was really kind of spoiled. Uh, if anyone watched that video that you did, front seat, able to reach everything, you know, my clothes, my bedding, everything from the front seat, and I designed it like that. So I tried to incorporate that into Happy Haven, um, but there are some things where I still have to get into my little nest middle area in order to reach you know, to and I'm still then the I'm still sleeping in the front seat. Oh, you're still sleeping in the front seat. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Again, you know, by choice. Um, a lot of people I know were you know concerned about legs dangling. Right. <laughs> I either curl up. I put my legs up on the dash, and, and I move around through the night just like my hands move. I I'm I'm always you know that moving around. I, I, I go uh, diagonally and stretch my legs out and I put the seat in a reclining position and this is all by choice and um, I actually like it because th this works for me and for my body uh, the way I, I don't want to lay down or I, I really can't lay down for very long. Uh, remind us again how why you're in a car living in a was a car now the SUV here in the desert and in the forest in the summer. Why are you out here? Why am I out here? Well, you know, my little mantra was new beginnings off the treadmill into the great unknown. And, I, you know, I'm here. That's a great mantra. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, I'm here to just to make a difference in the community as well as to stretch and grow in my own life. Um, this last year has been quite the ride. I did 25,000 miles in the Acura. I worked two summer jobs. I uh, still have my digital business that I work all year long. You know, YouTube channel growing, you know how that is. That can keep you busy 24 seven. Blogging. Um, and so now I just, I, I'm just so passionate about this lifestyle. I visited 17 national parks, 10 national monuments, and on and on and on. And I tell people, in a nutshell, I have done more in the last year probably in my life than in the last 10. Uh, so you mentioned you had a YouTube channel. What is that? 
serene and simple life. And that's just something that I want for everybody. So everyone go and check out Linda's uh, YouTube channel, Serene and Simple Life. Well, why don't we take a look around at how you set up your SUV? Oh, that's fantastic. Let's do I that. would love to. Thank you. Let's go take a look. So you you mentioned uh, this was your happy haven and yes. <laughs> you've even labeled it so. Yes. I don't drive down the road with this, but no. when I'm stationary for a little bit, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> and so you have a Toyota Highlander that you're living in now. Yes, this is a 2012. I bought it, it has 120,000 miles on it. Oh and my, that's just a baby. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. And also, um, just to share with your audience, I, through my work camp jobs and through my digital nomad business and, you know, not working crazy hard or anything, my jobs were more like experiences than jobs, but I was able to pay cash for the first time in my life wow. on a vehicle, first time without a car payment, and I'm going to be 62, so. <laughs> so you're not out here suffering, you're out here thriving. Yes, absolutely, yes. And so, you know, and then, and I saved what, $600 a month. I was renting a room before I, I started on this journey, September 15th, 2018, $600 a month times now I'm almost out 17 months, do the math that, that pays for a vehicle. Right. So you were able to save your, the rent you used to pay and pay cash for a new rig. Yes. Yes. New to you. Rig. Yes. And, and follow your advice with having that 3000 to 5,000 buffer. Right. For anything that might go wrong. You got to have that. Mm -hmm. Number one question usually for people when they don't, when they see that I don't have a bed per se, is where do you sleep? So might as well do this, right? Right. So here is, um, you know, and I can actually, I, I'm, there's a box back. Oh, it, it's going pretty well. Okay. And then we go back here. This slides back pretty far. So this is how you sleep. You, mm -hmm. This is the bedroom. Yeah, and see this, this, uh, the slant here. And I tell people, hey, try it. You might like it because That's, people yeah. will say, I could never do that. Now I've talked to a couple women who are like they're trying out their front seat and it's working for them. Right. But we just don't think in our minds it doesn't make sense to do this. Well, you know, a lot of people like sleeping in recliners, and that's about the angle you'd be at in a recliner. Exactly. You know, put your feet up. Without you can being put your feet up. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, right here. And, you know, just for a few minutes, I sometimes stretch them out that way when I'm laying down. And then this is the other thing is I flip, if anyone's watched that other video I reference, you know, on your channel is, you know, I can do this too for a while and, and back. And then I do a still nest with pillows. This is my snack attack box. Right. I had one of those last year. Some people say, oh, you didn't take the front seat out. I don't know. I still like that traveling feeling. If, if someone wants to hop in and, and we go together, you know, I like to have that rather than take the whole seat out, at least for now. And then here's still the reachables. I've got the 12 volt, you know, early in the morning. Um, love, love, love this, in, this huge glove box in the oh, SUV. Oh yeah, that's gigantic. Yep. And also, um, toiletries and makeup bag. They're just, this is huge too. It is. Yeah. This Those is, are big bags. Yeah, Serenity, just them up. yeah, Serenity sedan did not have that. And also, you know, she was a 2003, this is a 2012. I got a 12 volt here. I've got one up here. And so two cup holders here, the water one, here's another cup holder. You know, there's lots of pockets here that uh, a 2003 car did not have. Right. See this black bag? Uh, it's just, a, it's a, an insulated bag. And I learned this, I think, from your channel, is this is like the coolest part of the rig. Yes. So I've got a, a, a loaf of bread there. I'm a little stocked up because I'm here for, you know, a couple of weeks for the RTR too. Right. And then plates, real handy. Because mm -hmm. I remember I'm still bringing that Serenity sedan idea here. Things still being, I want things to be handy. My iPad is right here. But everything looks, you know, is squared off and nice and neat. And then the tray table. Oh no, that's nice. You know. Really nice. So I can still play house and play office right here in the front mm -hmm. if I choose to not go in the back. You know, still referencing the other video, you'd ask me like last year, like, you know, playing on like a rainy day, what would we do? And I can access this nest, what I, what I can't wait to show you from right here. You know, I'll either, I use this as a gripper and I just scoot myself 
oh, right over top of this. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if I want to come in through the door over here, right. <laughs> like regular people do then. Now, you have a uh, Highlander, and it's a th it has three rows of seats. Yes. And you took out the middle row. Yes. Uh, they're gone. Yes. And created kind of, um, put in a platform that just gave you an enormous amount of room here. Yes, yes. Why don't you show us that? Yes, yeah, speaking of room, it made, it made a room. It made a kitchen room, a little nook reading room, and it also made an office. Right. I'm I'm really impressed with what you've got going. Oh, thank you, Bob. So uh, would you, you like had me to the, show you the platform first? Or? Right. So you had to make a, a platform because, like all of these SUV seats, they're all off level and. So you wanted it level, you got stuff in there. Yeah, you see the bumps here? Mm -hmm. These yeah. bumps go all the way across right. for various parts of the seat. <laughs> mm -hmm. What a great idea that is. And this is, uh, I think it's a 40 by 36. Now Lowe's did this for free for me. Yeah, I guess you just go in at eight o'clock in the morning and you smile at the guys. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they had this uh, two by four in the scrap pile. Uh -huh. So I was fortunate to be able, they said you can have that. They didn't charge me for the um, for the nails, and they did the drilling because I'm like I don't have a drill, and I told them what I was doing, you know, that I'm traveling the country and living in my vehicle. So they were kind of fascinated by that, and so then they brought the platform out and put it in for me. So like you call this what a no build build? That would be a no build build, <laughs> <laughs> and you can't even hardly tell it's there. You covered it with a nice uh, quilt. Yes, I have. Yes, that mm -hmm. came from sticks and bricks, so that was kind of like bringing that little uh, comfort type thing into into your new home. So with this nice flat open area, you just put in some furniture that you probably had on hand or you no, went and bought I, it? No, I, I did a little splurge here, Bob, because no. I, you know, saved on getting this vehicle and... And, the, and you left a space there for you. Yes. And this is your office. Yes, it and is, and it's in a kitchen too. Office and kitchen and... And just a little R&R um, &R room. I tried to just take off my little sandals. Then I can just yank the door shut. Mm -hmm. Or if it's raining, I'll come from the front like I showed you before. And so you needed a, a, a chair because this is gonna be a pretty hard piece of plywood. Yes. So, and a, and a recliner, how are you doing that? Well, this is one of those like where you, you know, have to bring it all the way down and then it clicks in place three different like levels. Like, okay, so we'll just pull this all the way down. You heard, okay. heard the yeah. click maybe. Yeah. And then, um, my little squish ball, click, yep. click, and click straight up. And so you set the angle at whatever you want it. Yes, yes. So everything is organized in a box. It you can sure just move is. it around. It sure is. I've got my um, long johns in here now. Hopefully only for another month or so and we'll be done. Yes. Oh, Let's see how nice. Yeah. Yeah, this was like container store or something. I'm sure Amazon probably has nice ones like this too. So I like the sturdiness of this because now that's one of those things that I can get dressed and sit on this mm -hmm. in the morning instead of scooching pants on in the front. I come back here and I'm 5'5", five five, so I don't know if you can get this in, you know, but I, I, can, I can do it. Absolutely. A, yeah. And it, putting socks on and all that good stuff, shirts, everything. I sit on this little stool, mm -hmm. but it's my end table during the day. Okay, so we just did the R and R, showing you like if you just want to uh, read a book or something and sit in your little chair, that's cool. And then this turns into the kitchen area where I can put my little propane gas stove on. And as long as I think you've mentioned, like be careful of the heat rising up here. Right, that's the key thing. Mm -hmm. And put the windows down. You know, and I'm not talking cooking a full-blown meal or and grease and everything. I'm talking a Progresso can of soup. And then this, it gives a nice ambiance. This is just uh, a bungee cord. And I bought these 36-inch uh, curtains, had to do nothing with them um, at Walmart. So that makes a really nice look because my trunk is back here with my business. So I got this. Check this table out, guys. And you can move this left, right. They give you little plugs here. There's four holes across here. You can, they give you two of these for to hold your laptop or your book or whatever. But, ta-da. That is a great little table. And they come up. Oh my. Higher for, for legs that need to be higher. And also slants. So off to the side here. Oh my, yeah. Show and tell. That is a great thing. Somebody here, one of my new friends, showed me how to slant that. See? Yeah. You slant it and then you lock it in place. 
so you can get the keyboard just where you want it. Exactly, exactly. That so. is so nice. And I measured, look at that, look from at here that. to here. So now I just made my coffee in my 12 volt and I, um, I'll put this guy, this is normally sits up here and it doesn't go anywhere when I'm traveling. So yay for that, it's nice and heavy. We have nature calls and y'all can figure this out on your own, but I've got the little pecan here. And mm -hmm. so it's very handy and I can just move this out of the way and it slides right here. It's got a home. So now I'm ready for a nap again or what have you. But in right. here's clothing. I ball everything up. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I got like 20 shirts in here all in this. This is my entire dresser. This is my kitchen top, which, which brings to mind too. I'm covering your question before you ask, Bob. Oh. <laughs> this is the toilet, you know, this is the potty. Some of you already know how this guy works. Yeah. And the bag. And the bag. Oh my goodness, yeah, I look have at some that. bags in here, so. Right. Yeah, so that's. That's a that, collapsible five gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it, you know, that's my, can be my stool for the day too. Yes, that's, that's amazing. And then I've got Reflectix back here. They're, they're, they're hidden. I've got a, a, a solar panel. I've got a Jackery. So the Jackery goes right here, and that's something that I can grab from the front when I'm traveling. And right. And you just charge it as you drive. Exactly. That's, yeah. And that works good. Or I use the solar panel if you want to see on the other side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Oh, and mine, now, of course, it's well, well organized. <laughs> if you want to, if you guys remember, some of you, those blue Ikea bags last year, still love those, but those are now in my fulfillment house storage back in Texas. And... <clears throat> Here's the product. Mm -hmm. This is the this uh, business that you run, an art yep. and craft business. Yep, yep, yep. And I just designed on the road this past year a Nomad collection. So let's see. And I have a Mighty Five collection because I traveled and Serene and Simple Life Travels. So, aha, you're going to like this one, Bob. All right. This is from the Serene and Simple Life Travels, Stewart's Landing, Nevada. Treat everyone like you'd like to be treated. I do like that one, yeah. And it's beautiful. Thank you. I love the colors. But anyways, now instead of those blue bags, I've got four drawers. And so how, if someone wanted to order one of those from you, uh, how would they do it? That would be sayitdisplayit.com. Okay, sayitdisplayit.com. Say mm -hmm. No and in the middle, just say it, display it. Yeah, they, Very come, good. they come packaged with a little display stand. You pop it together or not. You can use a little Velcro clippy and put it on your dash if you want. Right. So then over here's my food. Here's more of the Reflectix. I used, a, instead of felt now, I'm using a fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby and it has a vinyl backing. And I'm finding that a little less condensation that way. Using, this is a blackout fabric. Mm -hmm. This is excess product, which hopefully will go down through the year. But right here, this is a little overkill with drinks while I'm stationary. Mm -hmm. But here's about uh, two weeks worth of food in here. Yeah, I've got everything from some jasmine rice to progresso soup to chili to some pasta. And then I've got some various drinks in here and a couple gallons of water. And then I have two up front there too. So I carry four to five gallons of water with me. And some bags for filling orders. So and in between the little nook and the uh, boxes in back. Yes. And so this stuff is actually sitting on top of the, the third row of seats. Exactly, those right. are folded down into the... Well, the wells. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. And just more really organized storage. Yes, yes. What I've got, I've got two boxes here. This is kitchen. Next to it is shoes with tennies on top. Road Pro. And then uh, this is shower bag. Two uh, summer clothes of those Amazon basic bags. Mm -hmm. Right next to that is my laptop and some markers. And that's it, guys. There is, I'm not stacking up to the ceiling here to be flipping and flopping. Right. Everything you can get to pretty darned easily. Yes, exactly. Okay, and why don't you give us your YouTube and your business uh, again? Well, it's Serene and Simple Life. 
and there's also a blog, sereneandsimplelife.com. And then the business is Say It, Display It which is uh, daily inspiration, cyberspace in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some really wonderful stuff. Yeah, and I, I like to, you know, this is one of my favorite sayings too, Bob. I know you're all about gratitude. I am. So grat Gratitude changes everything. Well, thank you so much, Linda, for this update. We'll probably see you again next year yes, about absolutely, this time. <laughs> absolutely. Bob, thank you for all you do and for the opportunity to, to share with your audience a little update and, you know, t take getting on down the road again. Very, very good. So there you have it, folks, some really great ideas. I think uh, it's amazing how much room there was in this, this SUV. If you got anything out of this video, and I know you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.